I live in Candler Park, which is about four miles away, but there is a, like a huge amount of traffic in Moreland, and it becomes quite apparent that uh, the drivers have very little regard for bikers. You know, cars constantly speed past me without giving me like ample room. And then especially when I come to the intersection, cars go extremely fast through the intersection, even when there may be like groups of like five or 10 students standing there. It began with me installing bike racks um, out in 10th Street where we have our little carpool. There were a bunch of bikes that weren't locked up and I figured why don't I just build a bike rack there. And then I um, was contacted by the Atlanta Bike Coalition and they wanted me to help them with an initiative to make the intersection at 10th and Monroe safer. They had already done a little bit of work um, with that after Alexia Heinemann, who was then a freshman, lost her life there crossing the intersection. So um, I joined with them to help make that intersection safer, to help push the city and to push other officials to do something. I think it's a great idea. I'm great. I'm glad that they're taking it upon themselves to uh, sort of figure out some of the safety issues that are very, I think, specific to all Atlantans, but especially here at Grady, uh, we're in such a high traffic area that I think it's a real priority that uh, we start thinking about uh, student safety in regards to kids walking, biking, riding scooters. We, got a lot, we have a lot of student drivers, um, and this is a very high traffic area, especially that corner of 10th and Monroe. One of our primary goals um, right now is to get more people to know about our cause um, and to get more students who may not be super involved in, may not think that they're super involved or may not think that it, um, this intersection affects them, to teach them about what's going on and how they can help solve the problem. Things that we can do individually, um, not necessarily things that the government can do to help fix the crosswalk, such as making the lights longer for the cars to stop or making the crosswalk um, longer for when we can walk across the street. I think the community also has been really supportive and the fellow students because um, you know this um, group is mainly student-led. We do have support from Dr. Bachman and other teachers but it's mostly student-led. It's extremely important because I mean recently we've had a city council election and we have a lot of new faces but when it comes to uh, feeling listened to that is a large problem. I hope that the Grady Pedestrian Safety Coalition, which is our name, um, GPSC, I hope that as a group we can continue to grow um, incrementally, be it a lot one year or a little bit the next year, but hope to expand our group and hope to um, make sure that people understand what we're doing and get more people in support of it because it's such a major part of our lives.